Hey y'all, week three, support your local box competition online. Um, it's gonna be a fun workout, uh, sort of a chipper style workout. 50 dumbbell deadlifts, that's with two dumbbells. 50 ab mat sit-ups. 50 box step-ups, that's without weight, so just stepping up onto a box without weight. And 50 single arm dumbbell thrusters with whatever dumbbell you used here, except for, for the thrusters, it's only uh, one arm. So this workout should be really fun. You're about to watch me do it just like the last couple weeks. Um, I'll give you some commentary about how it feels um, while I'm doing it. And then after the workout, I'll give you kind of a breakdown. Um, before I do it, my expectation is I'm gonna try to uh, do as much as I can and rest as little as I can. That should pretty much uh, describe any workout, but really for this one, um, I think that the uh, the ab mat sit up standard is a little bit different than what we usually do in the gym. You're not actually allowed to put your hands over your head as far as the standard is concerned. You're only supposed to keep your hands out um, above your like pelvis. So that's a little bit interesting. Interested to see how that goes. Uh, for this one, I think it's going to be a little bit more. You have to get a little bit more creative with your um, equipment because the um, this one is, is the most equipment required of the other two uh, compared to the other two. So I'll be stepping up onto um, some plates that I have in my garage uh, to use for my box. Um, I only have one 50 pound dumbbell, so I'm actually gonna tape a five pound weight to a 45 pound dumbbell to use for the dumbbell deadlifts. Um, and if you don't have an ab mat, I uh, fortunately have an ab mat, but if you don't have an ab mat, you can roll up a towel or a couple of towels and um, use that as your ab mat under your lumbar spine. So just some, uh, some prep work um, as far as equipment is concerned, this one's a really good one to be, to get creative. 20 minute cap on the workout um, that I hope is not required. I think that this one can be a lot faster than 20 minutes. So um, stay tuned and we'll see if that is in fact the case. All right, so we are ready to get started. So before I start the workout, just for a little bit of uh, honesty, I'm gonna measure out the box. So from the pad, to the box, you can see the top 24 inches. Um, I am going to show you this dumbbell. So I have this Bowflex uh, adjustable. They only go up to 45. So I taped a five pound uh, weight to the back of it. Just because of dumbbell deadlifts, you only have to touch one side. So there's a 50 from the Uptown Gym, in fact. And... Uh, Sam wanted some chalk, so I put some chalk outside, um, so that he didn't, hopefully, interfere. I actually don't know if he did or not. I haven't watched the video, so we will see. Um, I think I'm going to take a second here and put the things away, get some chalk. Just mentally prepare myself for the workout. So, I, uh, had it in my head to do all the 50 in a row. From the start, figured I wouldn't really need my grip for anything else after the deadlifts, so just kind of go. <clears throat> so we'll see. Three, two, one, starting tall. All right, and we're off. So touching the ground every time, extending at the hips, making sure that my shoulders are behind the bar, or dumbbells, I should say. So shoulders behind the heads of the dumbbells. The stance for this is a little bit weird compared to a regular deadlift. You may find that your feet are like almost touching, like I'm, my feet actually may be touching. And it's just because uh, the dumbbells are at your side and you're gonna put them down like on the side. So if your feet are wider, you're gonna end up having to put the dumbbell down in front of your foot or you're actually just contact your shin uh, or your foot at the bottom, which would not be very comfortable. So, um, I'm trying to be really deliberate with my movements again. So you, if you watch the first video, this is kind of how um, how I try to do workouts like this is I could probably go significantly faster through these, but I want to make sure that I'm touching the ground every time and standing up because deadlifts are a uh, movement that are really easy to short. So you can very easily not extend the hips all the way. So especially for a demo purpose uh, for this 
and we're done with 50. So about a minute 15, and then it takes about five seconds, you know, to get into the seated position. Um, and so this is the new sit-up standard. I say new because I had never done it before. I'm not really sure if uh, this was a standard prior, but the standard is that your hands can't go behind your head. So you can see me, I kind of throw them up to like where my chest is um, to get a little bit of momentum. But uh, essentially the finishing position is hands on the ground and your, uh, your chest or your hip, your spine should be even or in front of your hips. So I'm trying to do a good job of making sure that I sit up all the way. Again, not to short any movement uh, for this just because, though it is technically a competition um, for a movement like an ab mat sit-up, it would be a little little spazzy to be just kind of flopping around. Um, no anchoring of the feet, so my feet are pressed together. There's no anchor, um, so they're just kind of free. If you want to anchor it, you can. It's technically, I guess, a scale, but... Um, Especially if you don't have an ab mat, I think anchoring your feet is a is an okay thing. I do like the standard. I think it actually focuses a little bit more on uh, on the abs for an ab mat sit up, which should be uh, intuitive. But I feel like sometimes when we throw our hands above our head, um, it can just kind of be a momentum thing where we're throwing our arms forward. Uh, with the med ball sit up, we can that is a slightly different movement. So that's okay to put over our head but for just the ab mat sit up these kind of get a little grindy if they're at the end so they were kind of slow i moved the um ab mat out the way and we're off so there's no standard for alternating so you don't have to alternate you can go every rep on one side if you want wouldn't really advise that you don't want one glute to be larger than the other it'd be a little bit weird but my thought here was to go five and five the whole workout um i think i get like 15 in and then it starts to like i sort of lose my uh like what my footing cadence is because this is kind of a rhythm thing for me it's just up down tap up down tap and i think i actually yeah right here so i start to like switch and i get a little bit messed up and i'm switching again and i'm like what am i wait what am i doing here figure it out so i got it back i don't think i lost any time here i think these are maybe as fast as i can go box step ups are uh not like really great for me just because of uh the whole you know height thing so if you can see right when i step up to the box it's basically like a bottomed out squat like my butt is like basically at the level of my socks or my shoe which is pretty low if you're taller step ups are um or can be a lot faster um so for this one, I just wanted to keep moving because I knew step ups weren't great for me. Um, and I think that I think that everything kind of took about the same amount of time except for the deadlifts. I think the deadlifts were the fastest thing uh, just because the movement is really short and tight. Um, so for here, I am just consistently trying to can remember to breathe i mean i'm we're five minutes into a workout um that i think is a sub 10 minute possible workout like i think I, before i looked at it said i saw a 20 minute cap and i kind of thought to myself that it could be done uh significantly faster than that so uh i'm just trying to move all right so about five and a half minutes in and i'm gonna pick up the dumbbell that was my thought was just throw the towel aside and start so um, I squat super deep, like my hips are like, I'm basically sitting down on my ankles, which, um, makes actually my squats go a lot slower just cause they have to, I go through a, like a pretty long range of motion, but the single dumbbell, after you've done a bunch of sit-ups and step-ups, the single dumbbell, um, thruster is actually a lot more difficult than I expected it to be just because your midline's a little bit taxed and you've already been doing stuff with your hamstrings and quads, uh, for the last like four or five minutes. So I am, my thought was go 
15 and 15 and then I was really tired so I was like okay let's uh, let's maybe take a break but once I got to 15 on the left arm I decided like let's just try let's just go to the right arm and, and switch again and see if I can keep going because really the only muscle group that's like consistently fatigued here is your legs so you're basically just doing uh 50 dumbbell squats so I was like well Usually in any set of 50, if I can get to 35, 15 is like, for some reason, my brain just says that that number is uh, less insurmountable than other numbers. So like once we get to 35 of a set of 50, I feel like mentally I get over this hurdle of like, okay, we can finish it. So I actually did 11 on the right arm and then I have nine left. So this is obviously, obviously squats can go faster than this, but this is uh, as top end as it gets. You can see how... Um, you can see by the grimace in my face, I think we're about to finish here. I think I got one more. Yeah, so 719 on the clock. Uh, Sam runs straight up, gives you a little point, and then I want him to, I, I think I killed his vibe a little bit, but um, we're done. Under 730, um, I'm going to show you him grabbing his chalk, and he runs away, I think. Yep, there he goes. So, good workout. Really good workout. Um, was excited, and uh, I'm about to give you some uh, feedback real quick. All right, y'all. Just finished it. Um, it was hard. Uh, it was a very, it was a big mental test, I think this one was. I mean, obviously physical too, but 50 reps gives you a lot of time to think. And um, so even just from the start, the goal for me was to do everything in a row. I wanted to not drop the dumbbells on the dumb on the deadlifts. Um, do the sit-ups pretty slow, and methodically. Try to go faster than I would normally go on the box step-ups because I'm short. And so, um, stepping up on a 24-inch box is basically the equivalent of me like being in a bottomed-out squat, the where where my hips are relative to my feet. So I wanted to move a little bit quicker on those, and then um, try to go all 50 in a row on the. Uh, thrusters at the end. So uh, I guess going from the start, it was hard once you get to that 25, 30 to mentally push to 50 on the deadlifts. Your grip is kind of starting to go. You feel it in your hamstrings. Um, so I would say that overall in this workout, push beyond what you think or what you're feeling at the time. The reason is because I knew my grip was fatiguing, but in my head, I was like, the next two movements, I don't need to use my hands at all, really. So I was like, just push through the deadlifts um, and get to the ground to do the sit-ups. Um, the sit-up standard, I didn't really play with a ton beforehand. Like, I didn't try it out. Uh, I did like a couple reps, and I was like, okay, this will be good. But um, I think uh, it's, I think I like it. It's a new standard that I think we can start to, uh, do in the gym or even if you're going to stay working out at your house like it's a really good standard is keeping your hands over your pelvis um, those I felt like got pretty slow but you just got to keep moving on those if you want to take a quick breath you can but um, just trying to keep my hands over my midsection pelvis and then touch the ground uh, flat palms every time um, that's a pretty universal movement I think you could probably stack a couple of towels underneath your back and really get the same effect. Uh, for the step ups, there's no requirement to alternate. Um, I got kind of messed up in my head. If you watch the video, I'm kind of like, I, my intention was to go five right, five left the whole workout. And then I kind of started getting messed up. So I decided to do 10 right, 10 left for like the second half of the workout. Um, whatever you do, do not labor on the way down. So get up, get down, get up, get down. Instead of getting up and then slowly kind of stepping down, stepping down, resetting, like try to get right back up on the box. Um, which is why I think going one foot at a time so you can kind of just tap that other foot and go right back is, uh, is, is beneficial. Um, getting from there to the 50, my mentality was finish the step ups and just pick it up. Um, I did set the goal early before the workout to do it all unbroken. But once I started doing the thrusters, I was like, man, I might actually break these because it's, uh, it, I was, I was hurting. But then mentally, like I said, this is like a mental hurdle type workout. 
I can get through, you can get through a certain number on your right and then switch to your left and you're not as fatigued. Your legs are doing all the work. So you're just doing like 50 dumbbell squats, but your right arm gets to rest while your left arm is working and vice versa. So um, I went 15, 15, actually did 11 on my right because I feel like my right arm's stronger. I'm right-handed, I throw right-handed. So I feel like uh, I have more control with my right hand. So I did 11, like as if that did anything, but 11, nine to finish out. Um, and uh, it was a good workout. Um, I think that these workouts pushed good uh, different movements. It was very, it was a variable test. It was really, uh, I think that uh, it was a good little at home test for three straight weeks. Um, again, this is the third and final week, but if you haven't done any of the workouts, you can go ahead, sign up, do them all if you want. Um, we have the support your local box leaderboard on the CrossFit NOLA main page. Uh, you can go ahead, sign up, make sure you sign up for CrossFit NOLA, CrossFit NOLA 504 or CrossFit NOLA downtown. Um, this has been really good. Uh, I was actually thinking this, this is the, uh, fitness with friends shirt. So <laughs> fitness with friends. I was thinking it was really interesting. I thought about halfway through the workout. It's really interesting that this says fitness with friends and we're all feeling really isolated right now. But uh, I think that this is something that's really gonna bring us together, especially when the doors open back up, we can come back in and, um, and really enjoy being with each other, getting fit as well as doing so with each other remotely. So um, I think this has been really good. Again, we have a great community. Thank you all for staying active. Thank you all for uh, staying engaged with us and um, you know, it means a lot to us as coaches at the gym uh, for y'all to continue to stay fit and um, impact our lives just like we're impacting yours. So thanks again. Go sign up. Have fun. Stay safe.